So um, everybody, if you want to know just how corrupt the, the corruption we're up against, um, Eric Coomer um, served uh, had served papers to me before I was going on stage at the Capitol. Now, um, Eric, I've never talked about Eric Coomer. He's the a president. He's the, apparently he's the president of Dominion. Served papers, everybody. He has sued. Everybody ready for this? Mike Lindell, Frank Speech, and my pillow. Eric Coomer, you are a criminal. Eric Coomer, your lawyers better look out. I'm not putting up with this. My pillow doesn't even know who you are. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the idiot my pillow guy doesn't go away. Remember, this moron is being sued for libel and slander, and who knows how many other crimes he's perpetrated in his endless campaign to smear manufacturers and voting machines with his baseless fraud claims. Eric Coomer, you are a criminal. Eric Coomer, your lawyers better look out. I'm not putting up with this. My pillow doesn't even know who you are. My employees, I have employees, 2,700 employees. Shame on you, Eric Coomer. You did a, you did a very, very stupid move, Mr. Coomer. You're, you're, you're going to be the first one right behind Rasselberg and all uh, Jenna Griswold behind bars. You're going to be near, you're number one on my list. You go after my employees and after my company again. You're disgusting. Now the my pillow guy accuses Eric Coomer of being guilty of the greatest crime against humanity of all time. Wow, it's a little dramatic there, my pillow guy. I have no doubt your tangerine tyrant losing bigly in the election was the worst event in your miserable life. I'm sure you soiled about 20,000 my pillows, saturating them beyond capacity with your tears and lamenting the fact that America didn't turn into a third world fascist state like your buddy planned. You belong behind bars. I heard you ran into a building the other day drunk or whatever you were. You know, whatever you did, you know, allegedly, I'll say that to the lawyers so I don't um, allegedly accuse you of something you haven't done. But I will accuse you of this. You've been, you've been part of the biggest crime this world has ever seen. Eric Coomer, president of Dominion, you were, you, you've, you've even said what you did or what you were going to do. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. You're evil. And you belong behind bars. And we will not stop till you are behind bars. We're going to melt down your little machines and you're going to hang on to your little prison bars. Let me out. Let me out. Should have thought about that, Eric Coomer, before you did crimes against the United States, the world, and quite frankly, all of humanity. It's disgusting what you've done. You and Dominion, Janet Griswold, all the to our country. You had to tear down all those Trump head imposed over Rambo's body posters that lined your bedroom walls and that shattered your psyche beyond repair. You probably have insomnia from the shock of it all and not even counting 100 my sheep before bed makes a difference. Well, Mr. My Pillow, the fact is nobody cares about your whining and crying because your arguments all wet. And you and the rest of the MAGA morons are nothing but Trump's sheep for continuing to put forward the charade. And what are you getting out of the deal? You're likely going to get roasted in court. Congratulations. It will be fascinating to see how long these MAGA fools will continue their plight into fantasy land. Trump wants the entire Republican midterms to be all about saving his face and promoting the big lie. The funny thing is most of the Republicans won on the very same ballot, and they're supposed to say it was all phony. It doesn't make much sense. But when the my pillow guy is the face of your political movement, you've gone way below the bottom of the barrel. Sense is an abstract foreign concept to this jackaloon. Will Mike Lindell drag a long white beard onto the stage to join Rudy Giuliani's son 30 years from now, still lamenting Trump's 2020 landslide defeat? Will they continue to forecast magical dates when zombie Trump will rise from the grave and reveal he's really been the president all this time, conducting the movements of robot presidents from a secret base far under Mar-a-Lago? We've now reached this level of insanity from these morons, and shockingly, there are still people buying this crap. The hatred of America runs strong with these fascist lunatics. In the case of Lindell, whose mind was unquestionably fried years ago, and the ragged MAGA minions, they simply lack the intellectual capacity to function as adult human beings. It's the Republicans that know better, but chose to sell their souls and their country in the name of personal power that are perhaps the worst to blame. The ultimate example of party over country. A hatred of America that is as pure as it is foul. 
Any credible network should not be wasting airtime with Mike Lindell's fantasies. Pure fiction is fine for a laugh, but this is tiresome. You lost at the ballot box. You lost at the recounts. You lost in the appeals. You lost in the courts. You lost in any logical argument. It's over. It's time for the My Pillow guy to fade away back into 3 a.m. infomercial obscurity. Sappers clear the way. Airborne all the way.